There's a lot of propaganda going on about petrol prices right now. The first thing that we are being told is that India did not raise prices when the rest of the world was doing and even now India's price rise is much much lower than the rest of the world. Government ministers are saying in parliament that look the rest of the world has risen at 50% in just one year. We have increased it just by 5% till March and of course those raises are happening right now but the second argument given is that if you look at the actual prices on the ground Indians pay the lowest amount compare it to what someone in London is paying someone in New York is paying what someone in Paris or Berlin or any such place even Australia and China compare these places every person is paying more or more or less the same as what Indians pay for their petrol and diesel so prices are not high that is what they ought to be so on the face of it, the argument seems correct and even if one doesn't take the cut off that the government has taken, that is April to March and compares April to April and this is what I'm going to do. If you look at it, compared to last April, in the US, petrol prices have gone up by 41% and the cut off date I'm using here is 4th of April for which I have all this data. In the UK, it has gone up by 29%, in Germany, 25%, in France, by 31%. In Australia, just by just 6%. In India, by 14%. This is after these raise, rises that have taken place, except the last one, because I've, as I said, 4th April is my cutoff point to make it comparable. So if you look at it, only uh, it's only Australia where the prices have increased less than what it has been in India. Rest everywhere, the price increase in the last one year has been higher. But then I thought that let me think about it, because Petrol prices actually crashed right after COVID started. So from February, March, petrol prices crashed in 2020. So why don't we compare pre-COVID prices, which is January 2020, with what the prices are in April. And here is what it looks like, because as I said, COVID came, everything crashed. Here's what it looks like when we compare January 2020 to now, April 2022, because that's pre-COVID versus the recovery period. USA, prices have gone up by 58%. UK, they've gone up by 27%. In Germany, by 29%. In France, by 19%. In Australia, by 17%. And in India, by 37%. Now look at this. Except for the US, where it went up by 58%, every other country, the increase from pre-COVID to now, has been the highest in India. And remember that that was the high point, after which in India too, there was a slight drop in prices. So that was the peak, it dropped. And after that, other countries benefited because of the drop in prices. Indian consumers never did get anything from that. Now comes the second part, which is petrol price comparison. Let's compare petrol prices uh, across the world because they can be converted to USD in US dollars and then we can convert them back into rupees and find out what it costs in rupees. This is the official exchange rate. In USA, a litre of petrol right now costs 91 rupees, which is lower than the average rate in India. But in UK, it's 161 rupees. 161 rupees. In Germany, 165 rupees. In France, 146 rupees. Even in Ch Australia, it's 110 rupees. In China, 111 rupees. And in India, the average was 112 rupees on the 4th of January. So you look at it, we are either lower than, except for US where petrol is always cheap, we are either lower than the rest of the world or we are at par with Australia and China. And we can do the same comparison uh, for diesel prices. And again, now it's even more stark because in USA, diesel is more expensive. 101 rupees, UK 176 rupees, Germany 170 rupees, France 100. 53 rupees in China uh, in Australia 122 rupees in China 100 rupees and India 100 rupees so India is clearly the lowest price among the bigger economies when it comes to diesel but these comparisons are actually all comparisons that are being made in dollar terms but in reality one has to compare as to what is the purchasing power of a currency what is the purchasing power what can they buy with their money that is what is called purchasing power parity. And that is not the same as the exchange rate. It means that if something uh, uh, costs $1 in the US, how much would it cost elsewhere in another country? The same thing in the domestic market, in their market, how much would it cost? This is what is called purchasing power parity. And here is what it is, what $1 can buy in the US. In the UK, about 0.67 euro can buy that same thing. 
In Germany, 0.73 euro can buy the same thing. In uh, France, 0.73 euro, same, can buy the same thing. In Australia, 1.46 Australian dollars can buy the same thing. This is not the exchange rate. We are saying what can be purchased in that market, the same thing. In China, it will take you 4.18 yuan or renminbi to buy the same thing that uh, dollar buys. But remember, the exchange rate is much higher, almost double. In India, it just takes 23 rupees for us to buy the same thing that would cost $1 in the US. So that is why the purchasing power parity dollar rate of India is 23 rupees. Exchange rate is much higher. So now let us reduce it to how affordable is petrol in each country. If the average income defines what purchasing power that uh, country has and the purchasing power parity of that currency, then how expensive is petrol when we reduce it to purchasing power parity terms? Remember, not exchange rate terms that I showed you earlier because it doesn't matter what the exchange rate is there. What matters is what we can buy, how much of our income goes in petrol and diesel and that's where the comparison comes in and here is you can see how affordable is petrol purchasing power parity time in usa it is just 28 rupees a liter if you actually break it down to indian purchasing power in uh, uk by indian purchasing power equivalent it is just 57 rupees a liter in germany 64 in france 56 in australia just 31 rupees in china 52 rupees and in india 112 rupees you can see that we are paying almost double what any of the big economies are paying when it comes to our ability to buy things. When we compare it to our average income, we are paying double the amount for petrol. What about diesel? Diesel, which is very, uh, which is very, very important for India's economy. What do we do when we pay for diesel? Here, USA, purchasing power, 31 rupees for a litre. In UK, it's the same purchasing power parity as Indian rupee, 62 rupees. Germany, 66 rupees. France, 59 rupees. Australia, just 34 rupees. China, just 47 rupees. And in India, it's 100 rupees. So you can clearly see that in terms of affordability compared to income, because that is what ultimately matters. And in terms of the, rate, uh, the purchasing power of our people, we are paying almost double for fuel that any other big economy is paying. And when it comes to increase in prices, you saw that when we compare to pre-COVID versus now, and our prices are increasing, whereas the rest of the world, the prices have started falling, India is amongst the highest when it comes to increase in prices. That comparison between April 2021, when the prices had gone down with March 2022, when prices were at their peak, is a false comparison. It's a misleading comparison. The real comparison is peak, before COVID, the drop, which we didn't gain anything from, and the recovery, what is the price at that level. That's the show today. Keep watching News Click, like this video, share it, and also share it on uh, Twitter, social media, so that more people can see it.